Hi everyone, welcome to this short video which is an overview of the Common Core. I know we all have different experiences uh, using this document, some pretty extensive, others um, not quite as much, so I thought it'd be helpful to walk through. Well you see the link here, if you right click you can save the link to your computer. Uh, whoops, that didn't work for me. Anyway, you can just open the link as well. And let me just make this full screen. So this is the document and many schools in the state are currently using this. We'll talk about some schools uh, that are using a version of this. Anyway, you'll see the standards broken up here. Um, it's broken essentially into two things, reading and writing. Reading uh, starts with K through 5, the first section. Um, it's then broken into 6 through 12, the same with writing. You will see several different groupings for reading literature, informational text, and foundational skills at the elementary level. Uh, there's also sections on language, um, speaking and listening. A little later on, in grade 6, it is broken into literature and informational text, and that trend carries on for the remaining. Writing um, is again split at K5 and 6 through 12. So what I'd like you to do is spend some time going through this document and what I'm going to do is just to give you a quick overview, let's take a look at the writing standards. So the document is essentially broken into these groupings. All right, so let's look at kindergartners. There's text type and purposes, and these are the three standards within this section. Um, this is very, very basic, you know, a really simple thing, um, just composing an opinion piece. And um, so that is one standard, is a, a, a mini, mini opinion piece. The next standard is a short, informative explanation text. Um, students name what they're writing about and supply some information. A third, is in um, it's essentially in narrative it is describing an event either from reading or just from life and talking about the details of that event okay so very very basic you'll see that the standards go across the page so this basic opinion piece, all right, students just state an opinion or preference. Um, my favorite book is, there you go, that's an opinion. To where they, in grade one, supply a reason for that opinion. In grade two, they supply reasons that support the opinion. They use linking words. They connect that opinion, and they have a concluding statement. So this one standard on opinion writing over the course of kindergarten grades one and two kind of transforms from a simple statement, my favorite book is whatever, to more, uh, more development in that with, with reasoning, with a little bit of structure. Okay, informative explanatory, you can see that trend as well where they name a topic, where they start off with just simply um, um, very, very basic, providing a tiny bit of information to using facts and definitions. Okay, so in writing, reading, I'm sorry, you know, um, we, we're just seeing the basic beginnings of writing. Uh, let's go down more. Let me just see if there's a, yeah. Okay, so let's go down to the writing standards. We'll look at the writing standards in K5 just a little bit. So, um, again, this whole first, first section does not even start here. Um, writing here just simply 
they, students are able to answer questions and add a little bit of details. Um, they're using the very beginnings of using tools to write, digital tools. Very, very simple stuff. In grades three, we see the standards really start developing, where students are writing opinion pieces on topics and texts, supporting that. And you'll see how this just continues on up as they get into grade five with more and more development. Same with informative explanatory text narratives as well. So what you would find helpful would be to spend some time with the standards. Start, you know, start from the beginning. Let me just scroll up not to make you dizzy. Um, start from the beginning. Browse the, uh, the table of contents. Take a look not only for the the grade range you teach, you know, let's say you're teaching 10th grade, certainly look at that. But look at the standards below and above that. So if we're looking at writing grades 6 through 12 and you teach 10th grade, you'll see you're grouped in here with 9 through 10. Look at this, really get a sense of what's there. But also look at what students will be doing later and look at how they got there. Okay go back and forth. So take some time with this. Um, some people will find it helpful to print this. You certainly don't need to do that. I think you, you can generally just work right on a computer with this. Um, look at some standards. You don't have to look at every single thing, but certainly really spend some time exploring these and see what's there. Um, see what's there compared to what you're currently doing in your classroom to what you've been doing in the past. One thing I'll point out, if you take a look at this one standard, this is grades 9 through 10, and it's essentially writing argument essays, persuasive essays. Um, it is meant to be one whole complete thing, one whole full standard. So ideally, a student is not just simply writing a concluding statement and then moving on or you know or just doing 1c for example those aren't considered standards the standard is this okay writing arguments to support claims so that's one thing to keep your eye on it's not like the main learning results of so many years ago where you could check off 2e or 2C for a certain lesson. These are meant to be holistic and taken as a full thing. All right, so that when a student truly meets um, grade nine writing argument essays, uh, standard one, they can do everything. Okay, you'll see some other standards in here as well. Uh, they relate to speaking and listening. Um, and I think you'll see those both in the 6 through 12 range as well as in the earlier grade ranges. Uh, there are also some standards on um, essentially publication or writing using uh, technology as well as standards on language. And you'll again see that broken down grade 6 on up. Alright, so take some time, really explore these and see what is there.